Om Shanti. Today is your 73rd day of your blessing. A blessing which reminds us that not just love, but at the same time power. When accompanied, you can really make somebody realize their mistake, make somebody realize the right path, make somebody feel what is true and what is not true. So sometimes we use only the method of love because we don't want to offend somebody. We don't want to piss off somebody. But Baba over here says that it is important that you use power too. Power doesn't mean you push around, you demand or command or you become arrogant or you become angry or loud. That is not power. It has a different meaning. So when it comes from your heart, when you experience it, realize it yourself, then it is powerful. So let's see, let's understand what Baba means to say over here and how we can use this knowledge in our worldly ways also with our family members, with everybody. Let's see. So Baba says, just may you become an embodiment of success. Baba says, may you become an embodiment of success by serving with a balance of being an image of love and power. So in order to achieve success in your life, in your life endeavors, and if you're on the path of serving other souls with this godly knowledge too, then you have to use an image of love as well as power. Let's go into details. Baba says, just as you constantly have love for the father in one eye, the mind's eye, the soul's eye is always in remembrance or in love of Baba or God the father. And the awareness of the duty, that is in brackets, service given to you by the Father in the other eye. Through these physical eyes, we look for suffering souls, souls who have got pain in their life, who are under depression or are going through some form of suffering. And we help them, we heal them with this godly knowledge, with the power, with the qualities, with the virtues, which we spread around through our mouth, through our mind, through our hearts. So then Baba says... Now, with being a loving image, now also become an image of power. Why is that important? Let's understand that. As well as love, let your words be filled with such power that you are able to penetrate anyone's heart. For example, a mother teaches her child with whatever words that are needed, right? A mother will say, it's okay, my child, do it nicely, do it properly, don't do it next time. This is what happens if you do it this way. There's suffering in this, there's failure in this, in a loving way. But it has to be powerful too at the same time. So a mother teaches her child with whatever words that are needed, but because of her love, those words do not feel harsh or bitter. In the same way, tell everyone the true knowledge in clear words. That means what is true is true. This is what it is. This is the benefit of following it. And this is the benefit of following the path and receiving peace. It's for you. It's for the betterment of your family. It's for the betterment of the world. If you follow it, it's good. If you don't follow it, then there's a downside to it. You have to be very straightforward to it. And you have to make them realize the truth with stern, powerful words. Stern doesn't mean you become arrogant, egoistic, or you raise your voice in any manner. That is not the method because then there is no love in it. So it has to be not forceful. It has to be something which is coming from your heart. And the other soul will realize when you have something for their betterment through your heart. But when you're trying to prove yourself right, that's the time you'll be using arrogance, anger, loud voice. And you'll be using any kind of force because there's no truth in it. So when there is truth, there's no ego. There's absence of ego. There's absence of anger. There's absence of any form of higher energy, which is in a negative way. So then Baba says... However, let those words be filled with love and you will become an embodiment of success. Those words have to be full of love. You can't be shouting and saying that I love you, that's why I'm shouting at you. 
I'm angry at you because I love you. No, it doesn't match. That's what God teaches us. Love and anger cannot exist together. Ego and loud words, forceful words, ego and at the same time, truth cannot exist together because ego means you're trying to hide something. You're trying to whitewash something and something else is true and you're trying to superimpose or push or force your points onto it just to put forth your weight onto the other person. So love at the same time power that can only come when you have the truth in your mind, the right feelings, the right form of understanding and you always have the betterment of the other person in your mind first. So with this I leave you, think about it, ponder over it and apply it in your own life with your own family members, with the place of work we go to and be successful. Om Shanti.